Jim Sands down at Caddis Fly Shop in Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to do the Bird of Prey Fly. This is one of my favorite October caddis patterns for this time of the year to fish on the McKinsey. All right. So in the vise, we have a size 10, 1120 Daiichi hook. This is a 3.5 matte black tungsten bead. You can do it in a nickel bead. You can do it in a colored bead if you want, whatever you fancy. I'm just gonna build up a little bit of a taper just to help build the body nicely. I bring it to about right there and then I break the thread. That's just gonna be a theme of the day is I'm gonna just break the thread every time I wanna do something cool. Roll with it. All right, so we've got the thread. This is a 16 knot Vivas. I like to do that so that if I can grab these ends so that when it comes to tying off the fly, I'm not building up a huge bulk of thread on the front and crushing down the hackle that I put on it. All right. So now we're back up here. We're going to tie in a little bit of the micro flashaboo crinkle flash. Bring that down, still kind of working on the taper of the body. So I'm going to bring it to about right there, bring it back up. And now we're going to tie in some amber wire in brassy size. Shove that underneath the bead, wrap that down. Now we're going to take the thread all into this bend, pretty much as far as you can possibly be comfortable doing it and then do it a little bit further. Bring it up to make sure everything's nice and kind of pretty. Stop right there. And then we're going to use some ice sub UV shrimp pink. I don't know why it's called shrimp pink when it's orange, but I'm sure someone smarter than me knows why. Just dub some of that on your thread. This is what your body's going to be made out of. So just wrap this up. Try to think of that taper that you worked on when you were doing your thread wraps. Slowly work out the, the small stuff. Tighten up your dubbing if you need to. Right about there. Now, take your flash, wrap that counterclockwise. I know it doesn't look like it shows up much, but I like the way it looks in there. And then I just take this, wrap it a couple times up, wrap over it so I don't have to do the counter wrap thing. Take that off, and then with your wire, just do your normal forward wrap. Breaking thread is gonna be a theme, I'm telling you for all the fly tying purposes. Get this, trim off these guys. Get the wire out of here. All right, now we're gonna do a thorax with ice dub UV calabatus. This dubbing is super curly and kinky and kind of a pain in the butt to work with but it's worth it at the end of the day. I'll just bring this back to right where that orange stopped or the shrimp pink and leave a little bit of wiggle room in your bead. Not a lot, just a little bit. Now we're going to take some, a Hungarian partridge feather, strip off the fluff, find the tip, Once you've got the tip, cut a little triangle, tie that in in that little tiny gap. And then grab your hackle pliers, hackle this around. Hungarian partridge isn't the biggest feather in the world, so sometimes it makes it all the way around, sometimes it doesn't. It's okay if it doesn't. Fish will not know that one made it all the way around. Trim your stem off. Now, 
to finish it, microfine micro dry fly dub and my mahogany done. Just a little tiny bit to fill in that gap that you left there. The reason I like to leave the gap is that it doesn't, when I go to do this part, it doesn't crush down the hackle as much as if you packed it all in there tight. Like that. And then just grab your whip finisher. Five turn. Do another one if you want. And this fly is ready to fish. This underneath like a Mega Prince or a Posse Bugger, great combination for fall fish on the McKinsey. It produces a lot of really amazing fish this time of the year. Fish it, let us know what you guys think.